Hey y'all, how's everyone doing? Well, I hope you're doing okie dokie pokey. <laughs> Ow. Do you know what? Just then, when I um, smiled, it hurt my lips. I guess we need to put some lips, lip gloss on. Where's, where's some lip gloss? I had lip gloss handy. What happened to it? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, please. Oh, I like this. I'm more, I'm a little too pink today. I've got pink in my sweater. I don't know if y'all can see. This is a real pretty little sweater I got at Talbot's. It was on sale, and I do like it, except it's hand wash only. And y'all know what happened to my last two hand wash onlys? They became little coats for the babies. And they don't even want to wear them. <laughs> this is a good color. There. Not so bad. Now, this is Rimmel Kiss and Stay Gloss, and this is color, what is the color? It doesn't have, okay, it's stamped on there, 9063. <laughs> That's it. There's no place else on here. It just says, last, lasting finish, Kiss and Stay Lip Gloss, Brilliante Elif. Rimmel London. It just says step one, which is obviously this, and step two, which is obviously that. Very similar to my coach. We'll see if it stays on as well. If it does, I don't remember this, then I need to buy a ton of it because this is the right color. But almost nothing stays on my coach. Who is that? No, <gasps> Brie, come here. Hold on. Brie, come here. Come here. Come see the everybody. Come here. Hold on. Oh, there's my beautiful baby. Let me fix your little eyes before you get on camera. You got some little tears. Here we go. There. Are you ready? You ready? Here we go. Oh, my darling. Y'all, is this the most beautiful creature you have ever seen in your life who does not like to look at the camera? Yes. Oh, what is it? You're so pretty. Are y'all just having a good time? Enjoying seeing them? <laughs> oh, she's like a fur coat because she is a fur. <laughs> mm, I love this baby. This is going to be a re, a Brie movie video. <laughs> She's so pretty. What is it? Isn't she the cutest thing in the world? Did y'all see she has on her little diamond charm that says Brie? And her little pink and gray um, bones. And then also it's got little rhinestones on it. Because she is, after all, my baby. What you smell? You smell mommy's pretty perfume? I love you so much, pink ears. She feels like a piece of satin on her head. And right behind her ears, it's like, it's so satiny, y'all. She's just the most wonderful thing to hug. Here's the only problem, as you can tell, she's stressing out, right? <gasps> what was that? I have to make her on alert to get her to calm down. She's stressing. i got to put her down. Okay, we're going to put you down on the floor. And you can just calm down now. Yay! You did so good. I'm so proud of you. I feel like I got hung on my teeth. Okay. How's everybody doing? That was fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't think I actually finished. Look, y'all, I got a zip. So excited. Only young people get zits. <laughs> Alright, so let's see how this does. It's almost out, it's the only thing. I don't remember using this a lot. I guess I did. The question's going to be, does it hold up as well as my Chanel? And if it does, y'all, what a find. Except it doesn't have the number. Except it's stamped. It's literally stamped like an ink stamp. 9063. Again, it's Rimmel London Lasting Finish Kiss and Stay Lip Gloss. That's all it says. Sorry, y'all. I wish I could give you more information. Um, let's do a little quick something so that you are not absolutely repulsed by my zits. Some people don't like zits. I'm excited by them. 
So I'm just going to do a little bit of this. Oh, I'm so happy about it. It's nice and dried out or I wouldn't do this. If they're ever still kind of moist, don't put anything on them or you might infect them. But this is very dried out. It's ready to hit the dust. <laughs> I'm going to put this on this side and I want y'all to tell me below, does this make a difference? Hold on, I'm going to put a lot on so we can see a real difference in using this product. And I'm not going to do that side. Because sometimes all it does is color it. But that's it. So I'm just going to do this little bit. You know, that you always do. Just kind of blotting it to kind of blend it down. And kind of all that stuff. But then we're going to blot this. Just kind of a little circular motion. And any leftover, where shall we put it? We'll put it right here. And maybe there and there. How's that? Okay, so this has... My Chantecai, and this doesn't. And I think I took back the other one, which I'm beginning to think may be the better one. Oh, here it is. This is the Javon. Y'all saw this in my makeup marathon. By the way, comment below if you enjoyed that. And then maybe we'll do a jewelry marathon or something. I don't know. A lot of people have said they want to see my jewelry. I don't know why. It's just jewelry. I don't know. It's artisans, and, you know, they're talented. So that I, I, that's why I enjoy jewelry. Jewelry and handbags are fun to me because you... It doesn't matter what size you are. There is a definite difference when I'm using that one. Definitely. Look, you can still see the dark spot on this side. Let's just see. Let's just see. I'll smooth it a little just in case it's, I'm not being fair about application. And we're just going to... You know, when you dab it, kind of close your eye because you might splat it right into your eye. So you don't want to do that. Blend it down and out a little bit. So I think that's kind of fair. Maybe we'll put a little more here. Because if that's the case, I may not do Chantecai anymore. To me, y'all, it's a very obvious difference. This, I can still see the dark circle. Yeah, I don't even have to ask y'all. But I want your comments. Maybe it's just a difference in eyes, right? Maybe it's the eye. Let's just see if this helps. Sorry, sorry. She just gets so upset if you don't play ball. Okay. Let's just see. Because if that's the case, I'd rather have this than the Shantikai. They're both expensive. Um, when I do the under eye with um, Rimmel, um, I feel like it does just as good. I don't know. This does do a little better, y'all. Of course, it ought to. It's Givenchy Mr. Light. I don't know. Let's just see. Maybe I, I wasn't being fair before. Because I didn't use the same amount on each side. This should even be better because this has both products. Right? I'm almost like. <laughs> so while I'm on here, I wanted to tell y'all about, I do feel like that makes it look better, y'all. I think of the two. The Givenchy is better than the Chantecai. I think I said that on the marathon. How many people remember? <laughs> but this will be a real test to see how well does this stay on. Let's just look. No more transfer than, than anything else. Y'all, this could be a, a game changer. <gasps> and I've never gone outside of Chanel for my liquid lipstick. Never, because it doesn't last. And the color. This is a good color for me. It's actually a little bit brighter than Soft Rose, because Soft Rose is, after all, bright. I mean, um, soft. This is actually a blend between Soft Rose and Strawberry Red of Chanel. That's what this looks like to me. But anyway. Okay, so the reason I got on today is because I wanted to share something, anything with you. <laughs> I just like to get on and talk with y'all. And I think y'all like to get on and talk back with me. And we just talk at each other through the screen in the comments section. By the way... I'm so sorry that I do read through every one of the comments, but I don't always have time to stop and type back responses. But I think them. <laughs> Does that count? No, of course it doesn't. Okay. For Christmas, I had a friend that picked up this beautiful gray tree skirt. She is very shy and quiet. But those are the ones that have a little mischievousness inside them. And sure enough, 
she put on, oh, it also came with a pair of stockings, matching stockings, so gray, kind of like rug-like stockings, you know, kind of a woolly looking rug stocking. And so she put the two stockings on her feet and the tree skirt over her shoulders, and I was like, she didn't say that's what it was, she just did this shot, and of course she's t skinny. And I was like, what a cute outfit. She burst out laughing. This is on a Zoom call. And um, the other gals are on there, and they're, they're all just like, that is great. And she's like, y'all, it's a tree skirt and two s Christmas stockings set that I got it Tuesday morning. And I'm like, I want one. I want a set. And everybody's burst out laughing, except one other girl. She goes, I want one, too. I said, well, you know what? Let's put on our mask and head up to Tuesday morning. I'll see you there. So we went up there, and they only had these kinds left. I have worn them daily. I love it so much. It is perfect for like a, I don't know, like a bed jacket. Do y'all remember the old bed jackets? Looky here. It's like an old bed jacket. What that what that used to be, for those of you who are too young to know, a bed jacket was just like a, a short cape that you would put over if you were sitting in bed reading or having your breakfast in bed from your sweet husband or yourself. <laughs> but it, in other words, you didn't want a whole night robe on because you know how your legs get tangled up in that and everything. Because it's a tree skirt, it has three ties offs, tie offs, right? It's so great. And then you can put on the stockings. They will fit. I just tucked the little hanger in. Y'all, it's been wonderful. And look, it's reversible. I want to wear just white. It's kind of like a crazy guy. What do y'all think? Comment below. <laughs> y'all, go check it out. I just love this thing. It keeps me so warm when I'm in my office when the heat's cut down. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed.